look then at the other relationship that I want to talk about today, which is uh, coplanar versus non-coplanar. So once again, the definition is pretty much embedded within the word itself. Co means together or with, the same plane. Okay, so coplanar elements are located on the same plane. Non-coplanar elements not within the same plane are not on the same plane. And so once again, if we take this three-dimensional set of points represented by the box, and it won't always be a box, but it often will be. And let's take a new set of points, we'll call it A, B, C, D, E, and F, let's say. Okay, so if you take this set of points, uh, a, B, and C. Okay, first of all, are those collinear or non-collinear? Collinear. They fall on the same line. Okay. Are they also contained in the same plane? Yeah, if you shade in the plane that contains them, you can see. Okay, so A, B, and C, those three points are all shared by this green shaded plane. And that's not the only plane that shares them, though, right? You could have also taken this side face also contains all three of those points. So regardless of how you think of them, that set of three points is coplanar. Okay, let's take a look at the set of points A, C, and D. Are the points A, C, and D, that whole set, is that going to be coplanar or non-coplanar? Once again, can they be contained in the same plane? Yeah, when you look, A, C, and D are contained in this top face, this top surface. Therefore, those are a set of coplanar points. Okay. What about the set of points, uh, I'm going to call this G down here. What if I say points A, D, and E? Now, there's no, there's no face to this box or cube that contains those three points, but can you sketch or can you uh, imagine a plane that passes through all three of those? Yeah, so here's A to D to E. If you look at this kind of wedge, this diagonal flat surface right, across here represents a single plane. It contains all three points A, D, and E. Therefore, that set of points is also considered coplanar. In fact, when you're dealing with three points, any set of three points, no matter where they are located in space, form what shape? Connect three points and you get a triangle. Is a triangle portion of a flat surface plane? Yeah, if you extend a triangle in, in its length and width, you will create that flat surface of a plane. So a set, any set of three points, no matter where they're located, will always be considered coplanar. Okay, so what about a set of two points? Yeah, so any set of two points, always coplanar as well. Okay. What about when you get to four points, now you have to be more careful. So if we look at A, C, D, and F, are A, C, D, and F coplanar or non-coplanar? Again, the easiest thing to do is take any three points that identify a specific plane, so A, C, and D. So those represent this top plane. Does this top plane also include the fourth point F? Yes. Therefore, that set of points would be considered coplanar. Okay, what if I did the points A, C, D, and E? Would that be a set of coplanar points? Again, if you take any three points, A, C, and D represent this top plane. Is point E located on that plane? No, so here would be a case of non-coplanar points. Okay, 
last example here. What if I take A, C, E, G? Are these contained in the same plane? If you connect any three of them, so here's A to C to E. Okay, so again, we're looking at this kind of diagonal wedge piece. Here's your plane, the shaded portion of that. Does everybody see what I mean when I say like a wedge, like a door jam? If you have like that block of wood that can hold the door open. Okay, you have that flat surface containing these. So is G included in this shaded plane? Yeah, so A, C, E, and G then would be considered what type of points? Coplanar. So this set, even though it has four, again, and they're not on the same face that's shown, you can still con connect them with a single plane. Okay. All right, questions about this, these sets of relationships. Coplanar, non-coplanar also work for lines we have, and, and portions of lines. We haven't talked much about those. I'll come back and do that uh, later next class. But the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the distinction between the concept called determina plane. All right, here's probably the most confusing thing um, and leads to the questions that are missed the most often on quizzes and tests involve, or in this first couple sections, revolve around this concept. The concept of determining a plane versus being coplanar. Okay, so we see that any three points will always be coplanar. But is that statement true of this, sta of this relationship? Do, any, do a set of any three points always determine a plane? So we talked about naming a plane. When you name a plane, the way to make sure it's distinct is to make sure the three points you use have what relationship? They're, they have to be non-collinear. So A, B, C cannot be used to determine a plane or name a plane. Okay? But A, C, D can. They have to fall, they have to be non-collinear points. So one of the